What's going on, everybody? Matt Malatesta hey. here. Hi. With Vite, we're here with Leander Rouse. The girls are in the state final four. Congrats to you all. Coach Elrod, what's been yeah. the secret sauce to this team? You well, sorry. What's been the secret sauce to this team? <laughs> Great kids. Amazing young women. What would you say the strength of this team is? It offense, defense? What is it? So as a coach, I like to I like to score points. We're we're a very offensive driven team, uh, but at the same time, our back four and our goalie and our holding you know we we we're well rounded. We uh, we've only given up 21 goals and we've scored 129. So we get we play both. Uh, we're averaging less than a goal a game in, in a very tough district. So I like to say we're an offensive team, but we play uh, fantastic defense as well. So you being a football coach also. Yes, sir. I got to bring this up. And you got the girls' soccer team. Do they have? Do they play with the football mentality? Absolutely. We we uh we we can play both ways. You know, if the team wants to be finesse, we can just like in a short passing game and all that kind of stuff. We can do that. And and if they want to get physical and, and and bump us around a little bit, we we can put them on the ground too. So. All right. Let's introduce these ladies to your right. I guess. All right. From right to left, go. Um, I'm Kate Baker. I'm a senior, and I'm number 10 on the field. I play center forward. Hi, I'm Maria Reyes. I'm number two. I'm a center back, and I'm a junior. Um, I'm Lily Adiano. I'm number 13, and I play attacking mid. <laughs> All right, Baker, we'll start with you. You're the grandma of the group, the senior. Just talk about... <laughs> she is. She is the grandma. <laughs> what did you think that, hey, this team is kind of a special team and had staying power to go deep in the playoffs? Um, what comes to my mind first is just how young our team is. We only have three seniors, um, including me, and we're all super skilled already. We have a couple starting freshmen, and they've just shown themselves so much, and I'm very proud of them. And also the upperclassmen, like, they're such we're all such strong leaders, not just us, but the whole upperclassmen. I'm just, I'm very proud of all of us and we all work super well together. All right, Reyes, tell me your most memorable moment of the season. What's been the, is it bus rides? Is it just, was it at the beginning of the season? Was coach was being a jerk and making you run all over the place? What was it? <laughs> I would have to give it, I have two, but I'll say our bus rides are like unnatural. Um, the hype and the fire we bring before and after games, it's just so enjoyable. It's such a great environment. And I like, I, I really couldn't wish for a better team to like go through this process or go through this run with. It, it's really great. I love them, all of them. <laughs> all right, Lily, what is gonna be the keys to winning Friday and then extending it to Saturday. I think our key to winning Friday is just our mentality going into the game. Um, I think that plays a big part when you are playing. Yes, you're going to play a game, but also are you in the right state of mind going into it? And I think as a team, I think we're going to have a great mentality. Um, I mean, we're fired up to go into it. Um, so, I mean, we'll see what we'll do. Um, and I think as we're so fired up and hyped and I think the motivation is going to keep us going to wanting more and uh, win this game and possibly the next. Um, all right, senior, what's the vibe been around school? I mean, like, do people get like fired up about soccer or they're just like, are they excited for you? Uh, I'll walk in the classroom and my teachers are always like, hey, how'd you do? Or they'll always ask about the game. And, and I feel really like, I just feel support all around. Everyone's always asking me how I'm doing and how season going. And I just, I feel the support. And also from other teams, like in our district, we're all friends and we all play together in club and stuff. And you'll see like other teams of like from other teams supporting us and everything when we're making it to the next round. I just overall feel pretty su a lot of support going in. I want to add on to that because I think just Rouse in general is very, like it's, they're doing so well at supporting us. I mean, mm -hmm. Thursday, we're having a walk, uh, walk out. We're getting escorted. Like we really feel like celebrities and it's just, <laughs> it's just so great. I mean, we haven't gone this far in so long. So for us, it's such a special thing. And I'm glad that everyone feels the same way. 
You know, Coach, talk about, you know, I was talking to the um, Vandergrift coach, but that area is so chock full of great soccer. And I didn't really realize that, you know, you have, a, you know, another team from Landers and the boys 5A finals and y'all and then Vandergrift. What is it about the area that has become such a hub for soccer? Well, I think it just comes from the development from the club levels. I mean, we have some fantastic club coaches that uh, are showing major support for us and they're growing their teams that are allowing us to grow at the high school level because, you know, we're so restricted with time and, and different elements and, these, you know, the, the love and the support from the different clubs and, and the promotion of these girls into those levels has been tremendous, especially over the last, it seems, about the last three to four years. It's really t- it, the support uh, from both groups has, has, has grown and, you know, just the, the level of competition, of course, um, just keeps pushing everybody forward. You know, we, our boys were in a, in a close situation like this, like, uh, like, like we are this year, the, the Glenn boys, of course, a great team. Um, and then of course, like in our district alone, and you could take us Cedar park and Neander and Liberty Hill, and it could be either one of them in, in this exact same position that we're on in, in right now. And it's just, just the, the talent level is so thin at the top that it just, you got to have a little bit of luck and, and it, it's really fun. It, it keeps us coaches, uh, some sleepless nights cause we got to watch a lot of film to put our players in great position because we, we know the other coaches and the other schools and are, are working just as hard to beat us as we are to beat them. So yeah, we always got to have a game plan. Iron sharpens iron as they say in football. All right, Lily, who would be your celebrity dream date? <laughs> um, oh my, God. my celebrity dream date? Um, I'm excited. Jacob Alordi. I agree. Okay. I, don't Jacob I don't know who that is. You know that. Fine. You should know that. I don't even know that one. <laughs> uh, all right, Reyes, what would you say? Um, what do you listen to before a game? I feel okay. Well, okay. I mean, <laughs> some of this music we can't talk about. <laughs> um, we have we have a, a lot, lot of fun on the bus. Yes. Uh, let's just say a lot of fun. <laughs> you have a and, playlist. We got yes, a playlist. We, got to play like right, that. we right. can only we can only play it on the bus. Yeah, we can only play it on the bus. And Coach Elrod plugs his ears, and he doesn't listen to it because it's bad. I get it. I mean, no, but it, it gets us hyped. It gets up. us hyped. It gets us hyped up, and I mean, it's great. And yeah, <laughs> I think also with the music wise, especially like when we're on the field. Um, we're allowed to play some of the Spanish music and oh, everybody and it, everybody listens to it and it gets everybody going. Yeah. Even for the girls who may not understand it or, you know, but they still vibe to it. They jam out to it. They, I mean, it gets us going. Yeah, they get the beats. They get yeah. the beats. Nice. I got you. All right. <laughs> All right. Finally, Senior, what is your Netflix jam? My Netflix jam? Dude, I don't know. I don't really watch... You don't watch TV. Do you have a TV? Do they have TV? <laughs> but I don't really have like a Netflix. Show. All right. When you're watching soccer, who's your favorite player to watch? Um, I don't really watch girls soccer actually. Oh, I watch boys soccer though. Yeah. Champion. Okay, League. that's fair. That's fair. Who do you watch? I like Drew Bellingham a lot. Um, I watch him a lot. He's a good and, player. Um, Neymar, of course. <laughs> of course. Classic. And then are you committed anywhere? No, I'm not. Or where are you going next I'm year? I'm going to Col- Colorado State. Oh, way to go. Good for you. All right. Well, all right. Hey, man, we, Coach, appreciate you bringing these three yahoos on. Well done. <laughs> We're pulling for y'all. Thank sure. you. Thank you. Finally, Coach, what do you think? It, what, what in your mind do you think that this team has to do to bring home a state championship? Well, first and foremost, we got to understand that the environment is going to be loud. It's going to be exciting, but it's just another soccer game uh, when it comes down to when the whistle blows in the in, in 80 minutes. If we can handle the environment, we can handle the emotions at the start, we're going to be fine. And then we just got to continue to play our game. Um, we, if we if we start playing another opponent's style, then that's going to hurt us. If we play our style, what we've got, what we've done to get us here, what we've built on, we're going to be fine. And, and if we can stick, keep that men- mantra, keep that mentality, just like we did uh, in all of our previous matches against some great quality opponents, um, we're, we're going to be okay. 
I'm on board. I am on board. Vibe Houston is on board with Leander Ralph. Good luck, girls. Thank you. We'll see you all in the next Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.